control the flow of communication and demo. Here's how you do it. You acknowledge the origination. So the origination is what he or she says. I don't want to meet you because I need to know the price first. Because the last thing that, they don't say this part, but the last thing that happened, this didn't fucking work. So how do I know this is gonna work? They originated something. In a perfect world, I'm gonna go from here to here. To all you little fools that be on Tinder and all that shit, from the perfect world, you wanna go from here to the close. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If I was a little fool too, I'd be on Tinder right now. Stop playing with me. But it don't go like that. There's some originations, okay? And what happens is they start originating. They start saying, what's the guarantee? Or what's this? Or how do I know it's gonna work? or it's way too much money, okay? And what they do is they get lost in the woods. But in a perfect world, we're gonna go from point A to point B, okay? Jordan Belfort, and I'm not like a Jordan Belfort student, he calls it straight line theory. And he wants this person here to stay on the straight line to the close. Because in a perfect world, they're like, I like it, I love it. Wow, there's a lot of benefits, perfect. What is the payment plan? Dude, let's do it, in a perfect world. But that's not, you don't get that. We call that a lay down. They're going to originate something. So what you do is you acknowledge that origination. How do I know it's gonna work? You're like, how can I trust you? You acknowledge it. Dude, I got that. I totally understand that. And you redirect them back to the dotted line. Totally got that, okay? Most people have that same concern, okay? Let me ask you a question. So you, you acknowledge it and redirect them back there. And we're dealing with human beings, so nobody, nobody fucking judge me. Because some people already judge me in the room, they're like, yeah, hey, he talking too fucking crazy, saying bad words and all this crazy shit. What you do is you acknowledge the communication, you return them back, and if you ask a question, it's almost like a fucking, this is where you guys gonna judge me, it's almost like a dog that sees a tennis ball. They're like, eh, and they forget. I'm telling you. So let me ask you a question, Mike. If you're so good about the Inner Circle program and it's $75,000, if you're that confident, so why don't we just do it for free? Okay, I'll pay for the build out fee and then we'll do a rev share. You'll make more money on the back end if we just do a rev share. Dude, I love that. Most people would elect to do that. Uh, but you know, the truth is that there's a lot of exchange in IP. You get our funnels, you get our sales process, you get our back end process, and there's so much stuff. And one thing I found, if you're like not committed in it, you have no skin in the game, most people don't commit. But let me ask a question. Now I, now I'm getting them back like the tennis ball. Now let me ask you a question, okay? Um, so you're making, you said you're making six figures right now? Good. How serious, not curious, are you about getting to a quarter million a month? Like out of scale from one to 10. I'm a 10, Mike. Okay, good. So if I could show, so I already got them off that origination. I redirected them. I'm not trying to trick them. I'm not trying to, I'm acknowledging, hey, listen, I totally get that. I would do the same thing. That's what they want. And just because you acknowledge them, acknowledge them doesn't mean you necessarily agree. Hey, I got your concern. I like the Buffalo Bills. They're the best team ever. I understand. I gotcha. But let me ask you a question though. Have you seen the New England Patriots? And they're off. Okay, so don't get lost in the woods. What I do, I saw a hand in the back. Hold that for a second. What I do, without being rude, if I have a person, it's called vomiting. I'll go like this, real quick. And hit him right in the fucking throat, real quick. Let me ask you a question, real quick. Well, the thing is, you know, I was gonna do this before, but you know, I talked to really a year ago. and Dude, hold on, time out, real quick. I'll even say time out sometimes. Okay, that's phase two. Real quick, let me ask you a question. So if, I, if I'm handling objection, it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be a little bit different. Okay, so, so the question was, if we got an objection, would you like rehash that? Is that what you're saying? Right, like, oh, it's too much money, I can't do it. Dude, dude, it's too much money, totally got that. Okay, cool, just, just for one moment. Okay, um, let me ask you a question. Okay, it is a lot of money, we can agree on that, correct? Okay, good, so let's just put that aside. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Um, I showed you a lot today. Do you feel like what I showed you, do you think I, I was bullshitting or you think I was being like open and honest to you? 50-50, okay, good. What part was it that wasn't 100%? So now, so now, now it's a whole different thing. Now, it's a, now I gotta go make it real. Okay, because the ejection that is too much money is not even real no more. You get it? Because you don't believe it. So, that's a, so I have to go handle that. Right. Correct. 
So, so because it's not okay. Let's just let's just let's just say it is too much money, and I don't want to get off track. So, so, sir, it, it's 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 a lot of money. We can agree on that, right? Absolutely. And it's probably like I wanted information. I wasn't planning on making a decision today, and now you're asking for fifteen thousand dollars, and you're like, what the fuck? You're like, like what? I was just looking for information. You kind of feel that way? Okay, so I'm asking questions I already know the answer to. So in that event, what I would take it, what I would isolate, I would put that away, and I'd do what we did in COVID. I'd quarantine that thing. And then I'd go through a checklist of, you feel like I've been open and honest? Yes. You feel like the cases I showed you were real or you think those were paid actors? Okay, good. You feel like they were real. You also feel like, you know, um, you and I would have a good working relationship. I already know the answer. They're gonna say yes. They'll say, do you feel like you know, if we did this, it can actually work for you. They're gonna say yes. So the only thing holding you back is this lot of money, correct? So now I'm, so what I'm doing is isolating that one objection to that one thing. So now if I handle that, then we're Gucci. So I gotta I isolate to that one thing, okay? Whether it's fear, whether it's money, whether it's the spouse, whether whatever the fuck, I always need to think about it. I would, I would, I would put that aside and then I would handle that one thing. So there's a million different ways I can handle that one thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my introduction. I'm still doing my fact finding. I'm still doing my presentation or demonstration. I'm still doing my test clothes. I'm still doing my clothes. So here's my whole process. Here's some fact finding. Or excuse me, here's an introduction. Here's some fact finding. Here's my presentation, which is the long part. Here's my test clothes. And what I'm saying throughout this whole process, they're gonna be like, hold on, wait, Mike. Um, this looks like it's a lot of money, man. I, it is a lot of money. But let me ask a question. Are you worried about like how much it costs or what you can actually produce with this? And then through that question, I'll bring them back here. Okay, you guys track track what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Um, here we go. So we're we're, not, we're still on 5.2 as a recap. Okay, this whole thing is talking about maintaining guided communication. Okay, so what are we doing here? Talk with people, not at people. I don't want you don't want to you know one person talking and I'm just like this. Rah, 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 rah. You want to talk with people, and the way you do that is you ask questions. Does that make sense? Great. Okay, cool. It says maintain duplication and good indicators throughout the presentation. So what that means is if I'm if they want to grow their gym and they want to, you know, they actually want to get leads and they want to grow their business and I'm showing exactly how to do it because that's what I do and their, their arms are folded and they look pissed off, they look upset, that's not duplication. That's the opposite. Okay, I want to go to the Lamborghini dealership. I want to get the brand new Lamborghini Rivalto. Like I'm pumped up, I'm qualified, and the guy's showing it to me. I should have good indicators. I should be like, dude, that's sweet. Damn, that's better than the SVJ. Damn, that's better than the Aventador. I should be duplicating. Okay, so you want to maintain duplication throughout the presentation. How do we do that? It says ensure that ensure the prospect understands what you're presenting. Okay, make at each level. When I say this thing has a thousand horses, make sure they actually understand that. When I say this thing has bulletproof proof tires, make sure they actually receive that communication. It's not like, okay, that's not duplication. How do you do that? It says prompt response. Does that make sense? What are your thoughts on this? So there've been times where I'm talking to a gym owner and I'm showing them how I generated like $2 leads, you know, and, and launching a campaign, it's been 24 hours and, and, and I'm not really getting what I want. I'm like, dude, we generate leads right now for FitPros for $2 through Facebook ads, man. You know, what are your thoughts on that? If I don't get what I want, like, eh, it's cool. Then I need to go back in, I need a loop. But what I need is the duplication, like, dude, that's sick. Okay? You gotta go through 5.2 yeah. for more in depth. This is all about question-based selling. This is just a recap. Literally copy and paste this from 5.2. Okay, let me give you this part right here. It says maintain duplication, good indicators. We just said that. It says get in real communication and listen. Real communication. No fake acknowledgements. No like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Like literally, say what you got to say. Make sure they receive your communication. When they send a line of communication back, actually stop and don't wait for your next thing you need to say. Receive that communication in full. Okay, acknowledge it in full. Okay, listen in full, and then respond appropriately.